ஹாய் ஆல் குட் மார்னிங் So we'll, we'll wait for uh, recording in progress wait for one or two minutes why because so link are change people are confusing what i don't know i will wait for a few more minutes i think some people are unaware of uh, this process so uh, uh addresses that if you are there can you please help them <laughs>
Okay. So, uh, meanwhile, uh, just note down these notes. Uh, we'll discuss about what we discussed yesterday again. So, are you guys able to hear me? Yes. Please note down this one, uh, maybe for uh, two, three minutes. Uh, see, uh, maybe see if some people are able to unable to join. That's why.
Wait, can I go down? Right up to here, I will explain uh, one more time. I hope everyone, most of the people join now. Okay, done. So can we move to that notepad? Okay, so whatever I explained yesterday, I will explain uh, for five minutes again. I will just do revision. Oops. Oops is nothing but object oriented programming system. So basically, object is leading complete oops, object is king of oops. So we'll see. So here we will discuss about three concepts class object variables and methods what is class the definition of class is class is a closed container where we can bind variables and methods so the syntax for declaring a class is class 
class name open brace and closed brace inside class we'll have variables and uh, methods okay so what is the syntax for declaring a class 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 name open brace and closed brace so here inside the class we'll have variables and uh, methods so that is fine so if you want to work with the uh, variables we definitely need some memory okay so then who is allocating memory for our variables so object object is allocating sufficient memory to our variables so who is allocating memory to our variables object so object what object is doing to variables object is allocating sufficient memory to variables okay so for example and uh, so here if i take uh, above syntaxes and all and if i write the program then see i will what is the syntax for class 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 name i have given class name as abc open brace and here uh, i closed this one okay so inside class we will be there variables and methods that's why we declared three variables and i declared one method here what i'm doing here is whatever the method i declared here i'm using above declared variables inside method so simply i'm binding this variable values inside the method okay that's why the definition of class is class started here and ended here that's why class is a closed container here it is open here it is closed so why i'm telling closed container means for example if you write some code outside this line or try to write something here console dot What is happening here? So see the same read line, it is not, not throwing any error here, but the same read line is throwing error here. Okay. So because the program, this main method started here and ended here, we need to write code inside this main method only. So it is open here, it, it is closed. It's like a closed container. See, for example, there will be some border for everything. So India, Pakistan border. So if you, if you uh, keep one step away from that border, then what will happen? People will kill you or people will arrest you and they will keep you in jail. They'll put you in jail, right? So similarly, uh, for example, if you have one liter water bottle, so what will happen? So once you close that bottle, you cannot fill some water in that. Or if, if one liter is complete, you cannot uh, give uh, 10 grams also extra. Or, uh, you know, uh, uh, even one millimeter also we cannot keep there. Why? Because it's like a closed container. So when, once you close that container,
<clears throat> Are you guys able to hear me? Okay. So the syntax for creating object is what? Class name, object name equals to new class name. Okay. So people see here, sir, here <coughs> you said new class name means we'll give new class name. No, it's not like that. Whatever the class name we have here, we need to give that one old. So if I ask you people to create object to this class means class name is A object name whatever you want to keep you can keep so equals to new what is the class name here a that's it so we have seen couple of examples yesterday with our friend your, your friends in the class so i hope you guys are clear now so now the definition of class uh, object is object is nothing but instance of class okay so what is instance allocating sufficient memory to variables so that's what instance of class object is super classes for all the classes okay this is what the thing so now <clears throat> i will i will go with one program now but i i request you guys to follow few days uh, like whatever i'm telling just follow that uh, just just try to understand uh, what i'm trying to explain there so try to understand so you people are you know uh, now you people uh, uh, adapted to uh, this what is that the console application with the main method program so now little little changes will come so for uh, two three days just adjust for it after that you will get so much clarity okay so now so now what how you will write the program now so we are saying oops console so so see here this is what the program structure see here by default we are getting class here we have static void main. So what I will suggest you guys. So we'll leave this class like this only. We don't disturb anything to that. So that uh, yeah, for good practice, real time practice, I'm just telling what to do. So just keep enter. Now create one class here. What is the syntax for creating a class? Class, class name. So what is the class name? Uh, oops, demo. Okay. Now, what is the syntax for declaring a class? Class, class name. Open brace and closure brace. Okay. So you can keep some access modifier here. So what is this access modifier? I will explain in uh, after six, seven classes. That will come. That is a separate concept there. Okay. So now tell me what is the see people people see here. If people clearly observe here, you can able to write this program on your own. That's why I'm telling. So what I'm doing, <clears throat> sir, can we write the code here? Yes, we can write, but my suggestion, uh, just try to, so see, this is default structure of the program. We don't disturb anything for that. And we'll write the program from here only. Okay. So what is the syntax for declaring a class? Tell me class class name so i'm giving oops demo so open brace and closed brace okay so i'm keeping one access modifier here we'll discuss about it later for now please listen so inside the class will we have what will be there variables comma methods Okay, now I'm declaring int a comma b comma c. Uh -huh. A comma b comma c. So we have variables now. Who else we need? Wide add. Okay, so C equals to A plus B. So 
people can keep some access modifier here also. So we have separate concept for access modifiers that I am going to explain. For now, just keep that access modifier. So what is this void and everything we are going to explain <laughs> in polymorphism concept. Okay, for now, just follow that. Okay, so I don't know Siva, uh, but I will explain um, after some classes. Okay, so see, so we'll give some values to here. A equals to 20, B equals to 30. So we got the sum. What we need to do now? We need to print console dot right line. So you can write anything. Sum is So fine. Now this is fine. Now, sir, we have given so much elevations to this object, but we are not created. So where to create object? Now people tell me what is the which link? I don't know. Which link? Which link, Balaji? If see simple, I got link like this. If you open this one, you will get login page. Okay, so from here live classes zoom like this okay even for first time i am also using i also don't know this is how okay so i hope everyone got it Okay, now people tell me, so what is the starting point of exhibition? Only two answers. Variables. Okay. So main method. So main method. So that's why we will create object in main method. Okay. So what is our so now what is the syntax for creating object? Tell me. Class name object name equals to new class name now people tell me what is our uh, class name here tell me what is our class name oops demo so now create the object for that oops demo so what will keep some object name demo equals to what is that new class name so so we created object so now what will happen the memory will be allocated now what is the syntax for calling a method object 
name dot what is that method name that's it so see this is what the program say so, uh, simple we did not done anything so previously we have class uh, program like this so i did not disturb anything there so i created one class what is the syntax for declaring a class 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 name open brace and closed brace so first i done that after that inside class we'll have variables and methods i declared variables i declared the methods after that the starting of execution point is what main method that's why we created one object to our class here and we are calling the method so now you can have that console dot read line now run the program <clears throat> Okay, we got the output. So not down the program. So Marthi will will discuss it. See the first program. So if I tell also people don't get it. So we have separate concepts for that. We'll explain.
ओके द सेम प्रोग्राम आई हैव गिवन व्हाट आई हैव गिवन लाइक सो दिस टाइम आई रोट सब टू मेथड्स लेट्स सी नो टेल मी व्हाट इज द सिंटैक्स फॉर डिक्लेरिंग अ क्लास 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 नेम ओपन ब्रेस एंड क्लोज ब्रेस ओके ओके सो क्लियर सो सो पीपल सीयर सो इन सर्ट क्लास विल हैव वेरिएबल्स एंड मेथड्स आई डिक्लेयर टू वेरिएबल्स हियर एंड आई डिक्लेयर टू मेथड्स हियर ओके इन साइड दिस मेथड व्हाट वी आर डूइंग हियर so we we have given the values to student number and student name and i am trying to display in an one more method of same class okay so here what we are doing we are creating object and we are accessing the both the methods okay this is what simple program again so okay so just note down this program so if i so just i'm running the output so we got the output okay so simple uh, this is like normal program only previously we are writing everything in console application but now what we are doing we are writing in our uh, class okay got it right so simple here we declared one class inside class we'll have variables and methods see you people don't uh, think about what we have written inside simple follow the syntax so what is the syntax for declaring a class so class class name open brace close brace that's it inside class what we'll have you know right these are variables so this is method so we declare two variables and two methods in the first method we have given the we have assigned the values to variables and the second method what we are doing here simply we are displaying okay simply we are displaying that's it now what we are doing here we are creating one object and we are calling those methods that's it okay just note down
Okay, done right. <clears throat> so we'll see one more program. So this is what our next program. So what we will do here is, so here I have given employee number, right? So we'll try to enter the values from, uh, you know, so see again, the same program, the syntax for declaring a class, class and class name, open brace and closed brace. Inside class we'll have variables and methods, okay? So here, what, what we are doing? So we have a couple of methods here, method one, method two, method three. Okay. And finally, what we are doing, we are creating object to what? 
class name object name equal to new class name so simply we are calling those methods so what we will do we'll just do some change here so we'll try to get the employee number from comment prompt okay so what for that what we need to write console dot right line enter employee number So employee number equal to int dot parts. What is that what? Console dot console dot read line. Okay. So after that, this employee number I'm deleting. After the same, we'll go for what? Employee name and Hmm. So, employee name here and basic cell. Okay. So, we will remove this one. Okay. So, what is employee name? We don't, employee name is string. We don't need to type cache. That's why I'm removing. Okay. So now basic cell is what data, what is the data type of basic cell? Double write. So double dot parts. So that's it. Now what is happening here? Simply we are trying to get the values from here. And after that, we are assigning those values here. And finally, we are creating object and we're seeing the output. <clears throat> So just see, just observe the output. Tomorrow I will give the program, but let's let's observe the output. Enter employee number one not one. Enter employee number again. Oh, so we did not change the we copy pasted right. Employee name name hmm. basic salary. Okay, now see. Mm -hmm. I just done. So, uh, enter employee number one, two. <coughs> employee name, Naresh IT. Employee basic salary, 34,000 something. See, finally, it create, it calculated the total salary and uh, it gave something. Okay. So this is what uh, uh, the program. So what we'll do. So tomorrow I will give this program. So people got it right. See, we are not doing anything here. Simply we declared one class here. After that, inside the class, we declared some variables and methods here. And we created object. And we have observed the output. That's it. Okay, fine. So uh, we'll meet tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I will give the program. Thanks, sir. For